You're welcome. Do you want to make 5, 10, 100x gains in cryptocurrency? I am the man with gift that can make that happen. This house cut this watch costs more than your house. I am the most successful, the best looking, the most charismatic crypto YouTuber on planet Earth. Everything I talk about just wants to pump. You only have to look at my latest calls. Bomb. 100x. Boom. Satoshi VM. 300x. Boom. Gamer Arena. 163x. Boom. Every coin I talk about pumps. Pumps like a rocket. Pumps like your neighbor inside your wife because you hold Cardano. <laughs> and all you have to do if you want to get those sweet, sweet gains, those cream pie of 100x's, is make sure that you follow me, the Supo Man. <laughs> the Supo Man. Actually, before I go any further, I'm going to let my friends introduce this video. Would you like to learn what artificial intelligence cryptocurrencies have the potential to 100 to 1,000 extra your money turn $1,000 into 100,000 if not a million dollars <laughs> that is what I'm going to be doing in this episode would you like to learn what are the best AI deep in and new cryptocurrencies with the potential for 100 to 1,000 X in the next bull market I am going to be doing as I normally do. I'm going to be ranking those cryptocurrencies for their multiplier potential by looking at every single cryptocurrency and showing where do I think this is going to rank. Is it going to make a 5 or is it going to make even a 1000x? That's all you're going to be finding out here from me, the Supo Man. Your superhero of 100 to 1000x gems. I have found many gems in the past and my whole goal is to make sure that you are invested in the best cryptocurrencies for your portfolio for the next bull market so that you make savage money. So if you love content like this, make sure that you smash a like on this video. It helps me more than you know. And also make sure that you subscribe to the Supo Man and turn post notifications on because you don't want to miss a live stream. You never know what cryptocurrency is going to be unearthed and you don't want to not be there when... It goes pumping like mad and you weren't there to see it. Also, make sure that you join my DCA Telegram group, which is in my Udemy course for $10, not the $50. Join the Telegram group and you will be privy to all the coins that I am DCAing into. And a particular cryptocurrency that I spoke about in this, in this DCA group earlier this week actually made a 4x. So... Yeah, it's worth its weight in gold and only for $10 for lifetime access. So, the cryptocurrency market has been pumping lately and basically what's happening is, is a circulation of the narratives. One narrative pumps, then the coins, the profits are taken, go into another narrative, profits are taken, go into another narrative, profits are taken. We are in the pre-halving year. We are more than likely going to be seeing a crypto bull run that lasts at least 18 months between when the halving takes place and 18 months after. That's typically how long a bull cycle lasts. And it's an absolutely perfect time. This whole bear market and even the pre-halving year are perfect times to be making investments. And when it comes to the AI area, AI and deepin area, there are particular things that I look for when I'm investing to make sure that I get the absolute most optimal returns. So what I look for is I look for, particularly in AI, is I look for futuristic and modern cryptocurrencies. And I tend to ignore the old, boring, shite coins. And then I look more at lower price than higher price. So, most YouTubers, most either, either YouTubers or whales, they tend to buy what I would say are lower risk coins. Lower risk because they want to make sure they preserve their money and keep on preserving money through every bull cycle that we have. So, what you will have in here is you will have the likes of uh, Tau, uh, the likes of Render, Akash, 
these are what a lot of the cryptocurrencies, if, a lot of the cryptocurrency YouTubers, if you are watching right now, that is what they are mainly talking about. Every single video, these are the type of cryptocurrencies they talk about. They also talk about what I would say fall into the boring category, the likes of Fetch, uh, Singularity. They're very, very high-priced cryptocurrencies that won't deliver much in the way of returns. And even in the case of Fetch, you know, these guys are actually in trouble at the moment. So, actually, to me, there's no benefit to really investing in these, which is where the, the lots of the volume goes into. My area is this. In here, you do still have some cryptocurrencies that are low price that people think, oh, they're amazing. Things like uh, Clintex or Demet uh, Demetra or whatever that junk coin is. But I am looking at cryptocurrencies that are in the high quality and futuristic fields and are lower cost. So the likes of uh, AIT Protocol, Cubic, which is a cryptocurrency that I brought you a few weeks ago that has gone on to... 3x since I spoke about it. Uh, GT Protocol. And that, in my opinion, is still in the lower end. AIT, Cubic, they're g coming towards the higher end here of still being relatively undervalued, but, and not as expensive as these, but the multiplier potentials slightly uh, disappearing. But one key area, so this is where I'm investing presently, but this is the absolute golden pocket. This is the area where you make the incredible gains. And in this video, I'm going to be bringing you a few. So one of them has got the acronym of DFA. Well, it's not that's not the acronym of the crypto, but that's how I... And this cryptocurrency is actually what helped to generate the introduction that I showed you. So this... Would you one. like to learn what artificial intelligence cryptocurrencies have the potential to 100 to 1000 x your money turn $1,000 into 100,000 if not a million dollars I just think that's superb and that cryptocurrency right now is a mega micro cap uh, there's another one another one that I'll be talking about in this episode AIP and oh and another one <laughs> but you're gonna have to watch on to see uh, what they are and this is the area where even if these cryptocurrencies get to around about here, you can you can make 50x. But if they make the transition to here, then we're looking at kind of 1,000, you know, 300 to 1,000x, making that full trajectory. So these are the ones that I am looking at, and these are the ones I'm going to be widely talking about in today's episode, along with uh, the... Initial starting market caps for cryptos that may not be out yet. So, everybody looks like they're here, and it looks like we're ready to go. So, the first cryptocurrency that I'm going to be talking about, probably should have gone off this page, is this one, Pixels. So, Pixels only came out a couple of days ago. Pixels is actually a really impressive looking gaming cryptocurrency. So this one has already spiked to being, I think, probably the second most expensive game out there in cryptocurrency. Like This is already more valuable than Illuvium, for instance. But it is pretty amazing. It's a, a suite of games that uh, are comprised within this Pixels ecosystem. The graphics look top quality, exactly the kind of thing that I would be, that I look for in a top quality project. And they have got a range of mini games as well. And they've got excellent uh, venture capitalists too. Having said that, Pixels has basically come out and gone to a 405 market cap, 405 million market cap with 15% circulating and 2.6 billion in fully diluted value. So if we have a look, at the gaming ecosystem right now, this is just under the the um, infrastructure plays like Beam and Ronin. Look how high up it is. It is so high up and it's literally just come in. So from its present price point, because that is what I really am going to be talking about, is from its current price 
I would say that pixels won't do more than a 10x. I don't think it's even really that possible to do more than a 10x. The next cryptocurrency is a cash network. Now, a cash network is a deep in cryptocurrency. Deep in stands for decentralized physical infrastructure network. And this is a cryptocurrency that a year ago was actually, you know, a, a poised for buying. And the thing is, is that Deepin is a relatively new cryptocurrency class. Like decentralized cloud or decentralized storage cryptocurrencies were not that sexy until Deepin as a category started making them sexy. And a cash network has done uh, a phenomenal run. Uh, but now it is 1.5 billion fully diluted and 885 million in value. Now, this is a decentralized computing on the Cosmos network and arguably a very, very good value proposition in Deepin. Probably one of the leading ones along with Internet Computer. But as far as I'm concerned, gains potential, very, very low. If I was going to be putting this in a category, well, I have already. It's kind of a high price. Even though it's a decent crypto, I would say that this one is not going to make massive gains. So I would say from here, a 10x would probably be optimistic. But I will say 10x. The next one is one I am very, very excited about. It's not out yet. This is one actually you should really take notice of now because these guys from what I have heard, are going to be launching a public node sale very, very soon, probably in the next few days. And that's going to enable you to get your hands on the ability to generate Aether. So Aether is a decentralized cloud built for gaming and AI, basically two super trends in cryptocurrency. We've just seen AI and gaming blow up lately, and that's having seen them blow up also back in November. So it gives you an indication that Aether is basically part of three narratives. Deep in, gaming, and AI, and GPU as well. So as it says here, one of the ways in which it's looking to make, uh, looking to speed up games and AI is to provide uh, GPUs from across a whole decentralized network of infrastructure companies and aim to save 60% on costs. So they're looking to make it faster, scalable, and savings on the end user. So this one looks like it's going to be a mega hit. It's not out yet. So it's GPU as a service ecosystem. So you can compare this really to internet computer and render. I think this is a powerhouse. Now, as far as I'm led to believe, <clears throat> Aether is going to be around about, is, is valued presently a fully diluted mark cap of about 150 million based on the venture capitalists that invested it. That was the valuation it came to. So logically, I believe when it comes out, it's going to be around about 15 million market cap and not necessarily, you know, reach as fully diluted supply for a long time. I would say Aether is likely to be a 50x, if not 100x, depending on A, the speed of dilution and B, the initial market cap. But if it is around about 15 to even 30 million, I think this can still make 100x. But I will, I will say 50 to 100x this will make. And this is, I think, a fantastic long-term cryptocurrency that has got the potential to kind of start off around about here. Not necessarily being as like, like these are sub-million to just over a million market cap. I would say it'll probably start off around about here and has the potential to make the transition into this area here. So I think a powerhouse, personally. Next up, we have got AIT Protocol. And AIT Protocol is a cryptocurrency that I brought you very, very early. Now, AIT Protocol is a subnet of Bitensor. So they've partnered up with Bitensor. They are going to be helping to sharpen any language models or AI models that build on the potential networks. This is a huge collaboration for AI Protocol and shows the res and shows the respect that Bitensor, as a cryptocurrency that's now multiple billions in market cap, has for something like AIT Protocol. Difference being is is that AIT Protocol is 70x cheaper 
than Potensor at this point. Even though it's going to be collaborating with Potensor to basically improve the quality of learning language models on the Potensor network, this one's still 70x cheaper and has a long way to go. And I had a previous prediction this was going to go to $5 when this was about 20 cents. But this was before they partnered up with Bitensor and showed really the potential they have as an AI player moving forward. So I would say that AIT protocol, even from this point, has a 20 to 30x potential. Next up, we have got Crust Network. Now, Crust, this has been around a while. It has been around since the last bull market. And in the last bull market, actually reached a value of $150. And now it's $2. And, you know, even lately it has been, um, you know, it was it was about 50 cents, which meant that to get up to its previous all time high would be around about would be. What, 200, 200 X or 300 X to go up back to its all time high, and it's already improved kind of 4 X since then. Now, Crust Network. This is a cryptocurrency, again, that is a decentralized cloud uh, service. Now, or decentralized st storage service. Now, what I've noticed is, is that these guys are so much cheaper than Amazon Web Services. So the common centralized solution that a, you know, that a, a kind of, a, any large DAP would take in order to make sure that they've got uh, storage for, uh, basically for, you know, their whole app to work. Because you need that storage to be able to make sure that it runs smoothly. Otherwise, you're going to be you're going to have too many users clogging up whatever DAP it is, app or DAP. So they would typically go to Amazon Web Services. Now, Amazon Web Services per gigabyte is not is two point three cents. You have a look at Crust Network. This is five or six times less in price. So this is showing you what decentralized storage solutions are out there. And shows you the benefit that these offer to, uh, to developers and end users, essentially. So therefore, that's why Deepin is so sexy. It's why it's become so sexy. And Crust Network is a very, very low-value cryptocurrency in the Deepin uh, field. Showing those benefits, those savings to uh, a developer wanting to have storage solutions. This one has got the potential to run again. Remember, it reached $150 in the last bull market because it was a Polkadot multi-chain based decentralized storage solution. But there was no deep end narrative. And so this going up to $150 in the last bull market, I think that there is great potential in the next bull market. And I do think this has got the potential for a 50x. So I would say 30 to 50x. It doesn't necessarily have the sexiness or the modernity because it is relatively old. But I would say best case scenario this could be a 50x. The next one is going to be a really exciting one. So the cryptocurrency that actually created the intro of my video. So I will just play it again because I, I really, really love the quality. Would you like to learn what artificial intelligence cryptocurrencies have the potential to 100 to 1,000 x your money? Turn $1,000 into 100,000 if not a million dollars. I made that with this cryptocurrency and it is called Deep Fake AI. Deep Fake AI is super, super low in market cap. So why I like Deep Fake, if you watch, if you watch uh, crypto YouTube, you will typically get a video where you've got Michael Saylor or CZ or Vitalik and they will be um, they will be doing some scam video. You can tell it's a deep fake. They're like, oh, we're happy to announce um, a giveaway. Scan this QR code. It fools a lot of people. Why? Because it's deep fake. It looks just like them, sounds just like them. And if you didn't know them, if you didn't know that such scams existed in cryptocurrency, then you may fall for it. And that shows you the, I suppose... I just I, th that shows you just how incredible deep fake technology is. It's dangerous, but it's superb. It's got a novelty value. So, for instance, it's helped me do the video today. If you wanted to send a birthday message to somebody, if you wanted to just send a novelty message to someone, then you can get one of these deep fake characters to 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 say whatever you want, right? So, how it works is 
is you firstly need to buy minutes. Now, if you've got a million tokens, if you've got a million tokens of Deepfake AI, then you've got this service for life. You never have to pay. If you don't have a million tokens, then you have to pay for minutes. And one minute is approximately three videos. And you pay for it with Ethereum. And then what happens is that you are able to pick from a plethora of different web celebrities. All right. So you've got uh, Andrew Tate, Donald Trump, Elon Musk, uh, Vitalik, CZ, uh, Drake, um, Taylor Swift. So if you've got like a female family member who really loves Taylor Swift, you can get it. You can get it to like say happy birthday message or, or, or say anything really. It's quite amazing what you can do. So... Um, so this is what I did. So I selected a load of these AI characters to say what I wanted to say. So it did the would you like to learn which cryptocurrencies, etc, etc. And then what you do is you select which, which person and then you type in whatever you want them to say. So would you like to learn blah, 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 etc, etc. And then you have the, you have the minutes if you buy the minutes and you get them to say it. It, to me, it's incredible. And it's the only one, the only deep fake technology that exists in cryptocurrency. And it's just fun. It's just fun. And as a result of that, you know, this, this cryptocurrency has in the last week really, really pumped. Uh, because I spoke about this cryptocurrency in my... Um, I spoke about it in my DCA Mastermind group when it was at 8. So here. Exactly here was where I talked about it in my DCA Telegram group. And then it went on to Forex. But look at it. It's like a $2.64 million cryptocurrency. 2.56 fully diluted market cap. So this is exactly the kind of thing I'm investing in. It is very, very speculative. It is, you know, in the high risk category. So where you've got, you know, people with large amounts of money putting it into lower risk coins because you're unlikely to lose your money from that point. Where I'm putting my money is I'm putting smaller amounts into very, very high risk speculative plays, which in my opinion are futuristic. Because if you look at something like an effect or singularity, they're just boring. Like they're, they're simply just, you know, they're, they're, they're not interesting anymore. Uh, so therefore I look for the ones that, that, that have the, the technology that, that I personally would use myself. And you saw it, I used it as a content creator. Deep fake technology is fantastic. You can use this. In, and the good thing about deep fake, uh, AI is that they've got so many, they've got so many to choose from. If it should got, even got Richard Hart for God's sake. So yeah, so you've already seen that in action in this video like three times now. So I really love Deepfake AI. Uh, probably my favorite AI play right now, to be honest, as far as a speculative degen cryptocurrency is concerned. So given that it's 2 million, and given the absence of, of cryptocurrencies that also have Deepfake technology, I would say this one's a 50 to 100x, even from where it is right now. Because th this team have can, can do so much with it. At this present time, you've only got the kind of static moving, you've got the static, well, they're not static, but they're not, you know, if you've watched those Tom Cruise deep fake videos where it's someone that has got Tom Cruise's face superimposed on it, so it looks super deep fake, it looks super realistic, that is different, that's a different echelon of deep fake technology. But presently, I actually think this is really good. Like, this to me is a re replacement for something like um, Cameo or, you know, those, those, Services where you would pay like fifty to a hundred dollars to get a celebrity to give to deliver a, a birthday message. You don't need that. You don't need that. Cause you've got this. It's quite incredible. Okay, it's not the real person saying it, but it achieves the same effect. So yeah, so I really, really like uh, deep fake AI and think that's got incredible potential. I would say it's probably more hundred x from where where I spoke about in the DCA mastermind group, but I wouldn't be surprised if even from here it makes a fifty x. And does that, you know, transition from where it is right now to even, you know, this point here, which could still make it around about 50x just at that point. It all depends on what the team do, because it is a degen play. And degen plays that don't have VCs, etc., they tend not to go as far, but that one still could. Next up, we have got a cryptocurrency called AI Pin. Now, AI Pin is something that 
is a cryptocurrency somebody in my group actually let me know about. Now this one is only a $508,000 cryptocurrency. And from what I can gather, looking at what they actually do, I think it's, it's got really high potential. So what this is, is this is a, a suite of AI functionality for the end user. It's just a suite of AI tools that they can use, right? Im Im imagine AI did a 200x because it had this alone. So this has got an AI image generator, AI bots, AI speech to text, generate text to audio, AI code generator. So if you want it to write a particular piece of code for you in any language, if let's say you're developing a Web 2 app, it doesn't even have to be Web 3. A code generator can really help. And then AI content writing. If you need to write an essay, if you need to write a particular you know, copyright or something like that, you've got that suite of different uh, crypto AI dApps. And this is something that something like ChatGPT has. Um, no, sorry, ChainGPT. So ChainGPT is, is like your crypto chat GPT. It's got all of these things. The difference is, is, is that, you know, something like Chain GPT uh, is around about 100x more. Look at that. This is 100 million. It's 200x more. So this is 100 million and um, an AI pin is 500,000. So this is a, this again is a super degen cryptocurrency, but it has a lot of functionality for the end user to have fun with it. And it doesn't look like a lot of that software has actually even been released yet. So over time, as it does get released, it could have a lot of potential. This one as a degen play, it could be a 50x, it could be a 100x, it could also literally go to zero. There are lots of AI plays right now, but this one, given what the platform aims to do and the different AI functions that it has that makes a, a, a user's life easier. I think it does have potential. The next one is an incredible, incredible gaming project. So it's not AI and it's not deep in. This one, this one's awesome. This one I really genuinely love the look of and it is called Star Heroes. This has not been released yet. But this is going to be coming out soon. And I'm not necessarily sure all the IDOs are done on it. I know that Spartex, Spardex, um, Spartadex had a uh, IDO on this, which I didn't get in because the Spartadex coin just got too expensive. But um, Star Heroes is a beauty. This one is coming out of GameSwift. So GameSwift is kind of Arbitrum's uh, gala, as it were. So it's like an infrastructure play for gaming on Gala. And this one is their first game on GameSwift. And you only have to look at the graphics. The graphics look supreme. Like, I am somebody who played Star Fox on the SNES and also on the N64. And this blows that out of the water. And they were mega games for their time. Now, considering that you've got the likes of Star Atlas and Sidus Heroes, which are also space-related cryptocurrencies that have also done super well, this one being a modern one on Arbitrum, I think this one this one could be a powerhouse, a real genuine big hit, a massive hit, and I really, really hope to get into this one. Now, let me just have a look. So, Star Heroes is going to be coming out of $300,000 market cap. I've not heard a single person talking about Star Heroes. So from my perspective, this one hasn't had a lot of a lot of marketing, a lot of buzz about it. Of course me talking about it probably doesn't help it. But um this could be uh, an opportunity nobody really sees. Like if you see something like Pixels, everybody knew about that. Starknet, everybody knew about that. Uh recent launches that have gone into billions of market cap. Um, everybody kind of knew about. This one, I don't think many people know about. So this is going to come out $300,000 market cap with a fully diluted value of $20 million. So I think this one has got uh, Powerhouse written all over it. So a $300,000 market cap. I would say this one, I'd say this is 100x. I think it's 100x. It could be even 1,000x. Maybe not that much because there's not that much fanfare about it. But I think this one's a beauty. Could be an enormous hit. 
Next up, we have got Bounce Bit. This one you're probably going to hear more about because this one I think is going to be a mega hit too. So you've already got the kind of BRC20 hits that have started coming out lately. You know, the, the ordinal set the way of Bitcoin technology moving forward. You've got inscriptions. So you've got Bitcoin NFTs. Then you had Satoshi VM. That did a 300x because that introduced Bitcoin layer twos. Now, Bounce Bit is another addition to this BRC20 narrative, which is new and unique. So Bounce Bit is the first ever native Bitcoin staking chain. So presently, really, Bitcoin is a store of value that is idle in a lot of people's wallets. It's idle because people hold it for their appreciative value. They don't hold it like they hold Ethereum. Ethereum could be used across DeFi, across NFTs. It could be used across you know, a massive ecosystem of dApps and narratives. Whereas Bitcoin does, it has not got that use case. But that use case is being built. And BounceBit basically gives the opportunity to earn yield with Bitcoin. So you earn an APR and an APY with your idle Bitcoin. So you have to, in this, you have to use BounceBit's proof of stake mechanism. And that will, and it has EVM compatibility as well. So you know, you've got the ability to have more technology opened up for Bitcoin, essentially, for your Bitcoin yield. And I think this, this is one that has got massive potential. Because at this present time, you've got your native Bitcoin, you've got wrapped Bitcoin, and you've got Bitcoin on the Binance Smart Chain. And it just lacks, it, it does lack the ability to earn a yield on it. And in DeFi, the, the DeFi space is so massive. And Bounce Bit, although the token isn't out yet, this has already got 450 million in total value locked in this ecosystem. So that says to me that this is going to be, this is going to be a large hit. So Bounce Bit, if you want to, it's, I don't think this is going to be easy to get into as a pre-sale. But if you are wanting to get into Bounce Bit, then really the way to do it is via an airdrop. They're going to be airdropping Bounce Bit. And so the way to do it is by basically converting idle BTC to um, uh, Binance BTC and then stake it on Bounce Bit to earn rewards. It's like starting it. And like I said, 450 million has already been done on this. And then you've got to um, follow the Bounce Bit uh, uh, app as well. And all these things, and then you may be entitled to the airdrop. So I think that bounce bit is going to be it's going to be massive. This one is a unique value proposition for Bitcoin. And given that Bitcoin, there's going to be so many more Bitcoin hodlers moving into the next bull market. There's going to be um, a massive shortage as well. So there's going to be a lot of whales, and they're going to be wanting something for their Bitcoin. DeFi is so huge at the whale end of the game. As far as I don't, I don't really interact with DeFi. I don't do a lot of staking, I don't earn a lot of yield, but that doesn't matter because the whales do. And that's what's gonna give Bounce Bit intrinsic value. So I would say that Bounce Bit, I don't know what this is gonna be starting out as a mark after that information isn't known, but I would say that this one is going to go probably into the billions. So I would say this was a 50 to 100X cryptocurrency. It's, it's I think a mega hit, a mega hit really because Bitcoin's just got such a large market. The next one is a super special one. I guarantee you will have heard this nowhere. This is hot off the press. You're hearing about it first. And that is Smart Layer. Smart Layer is innovating Ethereum-based tokens. They have created a new standard called ERC5169, ERC which is customizable tokens. These are smart tokens. So what you've presently got in any cryptocurrency that issues tokens is you've just got access to price exposure. You've got access to price discovery. If you like a project, you buy the tokens so they appreciate in value for a particular project that you like. But Smart Layer actually, add, actually makes smart tokens. So what they do is they add composability and execution of individual tokens. So individual tokens will have their own intrinsic value. And that's what makes it a revolution in this space. Because it just it just adds to it's like a kind of cross between non fungible and fungible tokens, like it just it, it gives a value to an individual token and it gives uh, execution to it as well. It's a technology which is 
mind-blowing, and very, very difficult to explain to the lay user. You almost have to re really read into it to understand what it does. But I can tell you it's a massive innovation. Like, it's a technological innovation, something that is very, very unique in cryptocurrency. And like it says here, a new era of digital transformation as we've progressed from websites to apps to tokens. So, to so it's going to make tokens kind of like a Web3 interface, as it were. So it's not just going to just be, it's not just going to be access to price discovery. It's going to have its own function. And that function is what's going to give it value and make these smart tokens valuable. So it's, it's very innovative. And I think this one is a, another big powerhouse, to be honest. And I think this is more than likely going to launch on a big chain. I don't know... Well, it's going to go on to a big chain. I don't know if it's going to launch on a big chain. It may launch and hardly anybody knows about it. A little bit like Zeta Chain or something like that. But I would say this one's, a, this one's a big hit, simply because it's revolutionary in the space. Next up, we have got this cryptocurrency, Xverse. Now, there's already quite a few gun games. So you've got Off the Grid, Blood Loop, Shrapnel. These are the three biggest cryptocurrencies right now um, that, that people are really, really super hyped about. But Xverse is going to be coming out very, very soon. It's going to be coming out on Cdefi. And Xverse is basically Fortnite. It's a third-person shooter. So um, let me just show you how it looks. So it looks very Fortnite-y. Look at it. it is, it's basically Crypto Fortnite. So where you've got all the others that are Crypto Call of Duty, this is like Fortnite. Exactly, virtually exactly the same. The... Let me just see if I can get better... No, I can't get better quality... Um, can't get better quality resolution. But you can get you get the basic point. So Xverse, this one is going to be launching very very soon, and Xverse is going to be seven hundred and twenty thousand dollar market cap, with a total diluted value of twelve million. That's super low to me. So I don't necessarily think. Well, Xverse is going to be it's an AI Web three game, and this is something that I'm really delving into right now is how the AI element of it. Uh, interconnects okay because you can already tell quality wise that the the the, ac the actual game looks good the graphics looks great but i'm looking to see how ai fits into this because i'm imagining it's going to be ai characters that you're going to be shooting against or playing with even but i'm but i think that this one has the potential to do really well because gun games are super commercial super commercial um, based on this being a $720,000 market cap, I would say this one, if this can really implement well, could be a 50 to 100x. I would say Off the Grid and Blood Loop are definitely the more hype. They're definitely more likely to 100x. But Xverse, I think, can also do very well. If you're already on CDFI, you're fine. And uh, yeah, so Xverse looks like a very good quality game with great pumper mentals, in my opinion. Next up, we've got Cubic. Cubic is a cryptocurrency I bought you not long ago, actually, where it was 3x less than the value it is now. And this is basically a Casper-type cryptocurrency, but at the time, as when I was explaining it, this was more of a degen play. So where you've got Casper, and that introduced a revolution in proof-of-work cryptocurrencies in the sense that you in, they introduced Block DAG, which is blockchain mixed with DAG infrastructure. DAG cryptocurrency is super agile, but with security of blocks. And so that's what made Casper very, very valuable. Now you've got a cryptocurrency called Cubic, which is a useful proof of work cryptocurrency. So what it does is instead of solving computational puzzles, math puzzles like Bitcoin does when you're mining Bitcoin, you mine this by solving AI data sets. You solve AI problems and that teaches their AI to be more inquisitive. Basically, it's almost like a cross between Casper and Tau, this project. It's a huge project. The only thing is, is the, the, the amount in supply is ginormous, 84 trillion. And the amount in circulation is also very, very small. And that is the risk. But the amount of hype that's 
you know, kind of coming into this project means I think this is only really at the beginning of its trajectory. I mean, you only have to look at Casper and see how that's performed to see how Cubic could perform. So I think that Cubic is a 20x cryptocurrency, 20 to 30x cryptocurrency from here. It's already done a 3x since I first spoke about it, so that limits the gains. Ah, next up, we have got Artificial Liquid Intelligence. This was a cryptocurrency that I really liked uh, before we had a new wave of cryptocurrencies coming in. This one has done a 2x since I dollar cost averaged into it, and I still think there's a long way to go with this. But um, AIT protocol, uh, sorry, um, uh, <laughs> getting confused now because of this. But uh, artificial liquid intelligence, it comprises of three main arms. One is the AI protocol. This is what gives you the ability to deploy AI cryptocurrencies, gives the ability to um, add AI to dApps that you're creating as well. So you've got that arm of it, which is the infrastructure arm. Then you have got the play, the gaming arm, which is where you can develop, uh, you can develop uh, AI uh, life for your NFT. So how this initially started was is that if you had a bored ape, you could pit it against other bored apes and battle them because the AI would read the traits it has versus the traits of the one you're against and you could win based on that. And then the other arm is character AI, which was recently formed uh, for artificial liquid intelligence. And this allows you to create character bots. So it now enables you to create kind of realistic characters that function, look like you, talk like you, and you can have those in games, on apps. So artificial liquid intelligence, I think is a very, very strong cryptocurrency and one of the newer ones. Like this one did come out uh, after the last bull market. It's got Mark Cuban in it and a bunch of uh, decent investors. And I don't think this has really actually pumped that much. The lowest this got to was just under one cent. So it's only 4x from that point. So this one I think has still got legs. This one, because of the range of different services they offer within AI, this one I think is a 20 to 30x. The next one is Zybot. Now Zybot is a uh, AI pad cryptocurrency. So AI pad is a Bluezilla based launch pad. It still to me is a very, very undervalued launch pad and AI project generally. And this is going to be their first app, which is a bot that enables you to know what the recent trends are. You don't need to go on coin market cap and do some data mining and try and find out, right, what's the narratives that are currently currently kicking off. So you've got kind of AI kicking off. You have got deep in kicking off, and now you've got layer twos kicking off because you've got the the Cancun or Dancun um, upgrade coming for Ethereum, the EIP four eight four four upgrade that enables for zk and optimistic roll up technology to work faster and be cheaper. So you see these narratives, and you know you you, you kind of know second hand that they're happening because you watch a YouTuber or um, or you're in part of a forum, and you find out when it's too late and everything's already pumping. So what Zybot looks to do is it looks to find out what are the trends that are, are emerging and you can be early in on it. So this is, this is using AI with, market, with the markets, with the cryptos, with, and doing analysis and seeing what is, you know, what's kind of pumping right now. And then it enables you to be able to get revenue sharing for, uh, for being a participant in the, in the ecosystem. And also by having the token, if you are a project, then you can actually boost your project uh, with it. So that gives a utility to the actual tokens. So uh, Zybot, from looking at uh, Bluezilla's uh, blurb, this is going to be under 100,000 in market cap. Under 100,000. This is what Bluezilla do best is they provide cryptocurrencies that are super degen, super undervalued, but in trending narratives that have got massive price appreciation abilities. So 90,000 market cap for an AI project. If this goes to 900,000, that's a 10x. If it goes to 9 million, it's a 100x. So I think this one, I think that, 
just because it's because it's more of a understanding market trends AI bot rather than something like profit bots, which enables you to discover meme coins really, really early and it does all the kind of uh, sniping for you. It doesn't have that necessarily a value. It's not as exciting a value proposition as that. But I would say this one is anything from 50 to 100. It's just based on that market cap and based on it being an AI play coming out of Bluezilla, having the Bluezilla marketing consortium pushing it. And I think they've just been waiting for the right time to bring it out because this should have come out a while ago. It got announced a while ago anyway. So yeah, this one could have huge potential. Could be 100x. Could be 100x. It could even just spike to 100x and come down from there. Just purely because it's going to have a restrictive uh, initial supply. So I think this one's going to be quite big. And it's available via AI Pad. Hence why I believe AI Pad's been going up uh, quite sizably lately. GT Protocol, you all know, you all have heard a lot about GT Protocol. But the reason why this is my um, a main AI play is because this one, they're constantly listing on more and more exchanges. They're getting more and more exposure and more and more liquidity. And as that happens, this is going to appreciate in price. If you think about it, look, 17 million in market cap, 18 million in volume. One to one. That's, that's insane, in my opinion. That is showing you this is this is arguably the best I can see right now in terms of volume to market cap ratio. If we have a look at a cash network, which is a kind of AI deep in play, look at that. Seven million for seven million in, in volume for nine hundred million cryptocurrency. Makes no sense at all. So that to me says that uh, GT Protocol has got supreme, uh, super, supreme hype. Very, very good at marketing as well. Look at that. 352,000 followers now on X. When I first covered them, they had just over 200,000. Yeah, booming. Followers, people I know as well. Decent quality uh, accounts that I follow. And the Martini guy. <laughs> So I would say that from here, GT Protocol is a 30 to 50x, even from here. Even from here. I don't think this has properly really got up. I think you'll see it more when they launch their apps as well. So at this present time, they're getting more listings, but it's seeing the apps in action that's going to lead to the better price discovery for this. So I would say, I would say, I'd say 30x for this one. By the way, people, if um, you are uh, if you are uh, mesmerized by what you are watching right now, if you could do me a solid and just literally under my face where you're watching, just tap that like. I would be very, very appreciative and uh, and happy. And do you want to make me happy? Do you want me to come back and keep on delivering you uh, cryptocurrencies with explosive potential? Next up, we have got Right Stream. Rightstream is considered a deep in cryptocurrency. This is uh, stream. This is like decentralized streaming. So it's like a decentralized Netflix kind of thing. It's a launch pad. Uh, they've got metaverse cinemas. But really, this is a TV and film and decentralized crowdsourcing platform. So what happens is, is, is that you know, people that are involved in the DAO, they fund projects, they build, they bring out the projects that they want. So it literally is like a decentralized Netflix. So where you've got Netflix, the whole the way the whole way that works is Netflix are who are in charge of what do they want to create, what 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 TV series, what films they want to have, uh, what Netflix originals do they want to create. That's all done from a centralized decision. Netflix decides. So Rightstream is giving the community the ability to decide. So if they want a particular series that sounds exciting, then they can vote to have it and create it, create it and bring it to life. So that is what Rightstream is. And Rightstream at this present time uh, is a very, very low market cap. Six million market cap. And around about 10 to 1, just under 10 to 1, about 8 to 1 ratio. Um, this has been a better price. It's currently at the higher end right now. So where you've where it was kind of 10x less than this is now it's it's almost like 20 extra in here. So I would say that this cryptocurrency has already traveled away. 
I'm personally not going to get into right stream, but I think this is a better um, project to get into than something like, you know, like, um, what's it even called? I've forgotten the name because it's, um, yeah, I, I complete the, 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 the other one. The one that's brought out by uh, YouTube and Twitch creator. Can't even think of the name. That's bad. Oh, yes, of course. Theta. Right, that one. It's a much better value proposition than this. So where you've got Theta that's 1.2 billion. Oops, wrong one. Theta that's 1.2 billion. You have got this, which is kind of a 200x cheaper, basically. So I would say that getting into something like this is a deep in cryptocurrency, like getting into something like Aether instead of Internet Computer is where you're going to make better money. So I would say that right stream, I would probably say this one could 50x under the right circumstances. I'll put it around about 30x. The next one is a real strange one. A real strange one. And that is this, Bostrom. Bostrom is a degen version of Bitensor. So Bitensor is a decentralized neural network. It relies on its network participants to, to provide computation, to provide neural power to the network and therefore provide arguably the greatest infrastructure for AI moving forward. Okay. Now Bostrom is basically almost the same value proposition. Now, I brought you Potensor extremely early. I bought you Potensor when it was like um, 200 million market cap. Now it's in the billions. And uh, this is a degen version of that. And it's not got the same amount of what I would say, I would not say the same amount of market hype, the same amount of market interest, especially at a whale level. I was hearing a lot of people talk about Potensor for quite a while before I covered it. And that said, said to me that there were signals suggesting that this one could, that one could blow up, and it has blown up. And Bostrom, Bostrom um, has that, you know, has that, you know, kind of, it's the same value proposition. If you read into it, read the right, right uh, white paper and everything, then you can see that it's, uh, it's, it's a really low cap version, like twenty four million. Now. You can see that hardly anybody knows about it because the volume is insanely low. And this was the exact same, the exact same for Potensor before it started actually getting going, before people started to know about it. Now, Bostrom is an osmosis cryptocurrency. So it's, a, it's like a, it's like Potensor on, on, um, on Cosmos. Just like a cache is like internet computer on Cosmos. Right, so the Cosmos ecosystem is really blowing up. This one could be a good Cosmos stroke, Potensor stroke AI kind of narrative. With the right set of circumstances, this one could blow up. It doesn't necessarily have to be worth billions to do well. So I would say that Bostrom, this is one that could literally be a 5x or it could be a 50x. This one could do super well. But I tell you, it is a real degen play with, uh, it's a, in my opinion, a very, very uh, ambitious project computing the knowledge of the great web it's just such a massive project if you look at it there's so there's so many uh areas of it that are very very intriguing like this uh robot that you can get this Im this immortal robot that you teach basically it's it's incredibly it's incredibly intriguing so many different uh branches to this project that make it actually make me very curious about it and make me think that this could actually could do quite well the next one we've got is octospace now this is another decentral uh d de, uh, distributed uh, computing and storage cryptocurrency and gpu all right so it's again this is like a, a very very low cap uh, internet computer, very much like Stratos. I would say that the branding of this sucks. Octospace is just such a bad name. And in cryptocurrency, names matter. If you've got a punchy name, it tends to attract the, the strong investors and they will tend to buy into this. This is not invested in by any VCs. 
And I would say that the main reason for this is because it it doesn't have the commercial value, even though it has got the, the deep end value. So this one's a 29 million market cap. When you compare it to, you know, um, Stratos is roughly the same. So I would say, and this one is on its own chain as well. So just like Stratos uh, is, is on its, oh, just like internet computers, well, it's on its own chain. It doesn't have a lot of, at this point anyway, a lot of adoption. 35,000 wallet addresses. Last time I looked at it, I think it was roughly 35,000 then. And that was two weeks ago. So I would say that this one doesn't necessarily have the commercial appeal. I would say, although it's deep in, I'd say 10 to 20x. Don't see this being incredibly strong. Next up, we've got Profit Bots. Profit Bots is an AI play, even though it's a Telegram bot. Now, Profit Bots is going in March to be bringing out their auto sniper, their AI auto sniper, which is something that I think everybody in the Profit Bots community have been waiting for because it's the only, only Telegram bots cryptocurrency project that's ambitious enough to do this. AI Auto Sniper is a one-stop solution. Basically does everything for you. AI does everything for you. AI will read the conditions of that particular coin. Does it have the... Does, is, is it a honeypot? Does it, is it a rug pull? Once it satisfies the conclusion that it's not, it will then look at what wallets are getting into it. Is it small wallets? Is it, is it wallets that belong, that are linked to a bigger wallet? Yeah, that's how they, that's how they've been able to identify mega hits. Like Sora AI was a 5,000x through profit bots. And if you had the AI auto sniper, it would have done it for you while you slept, got you a 5,000x. That is supreme. You don't see gains like that anywhere. So this cryptocurrency at this present time is a $10 million market cap. And in order to get the AI auto sniper, I think it's going to be a thousand profit. A thousand profit. That's not cheap necessarily, but it's a small amount of profit. You know, back in the past, you needed 15,000 for the God, you know, for the extremely high end services of profit bots. But you only need a thousand profit in order to, yeah, I believe it's a thousand profit, in order to be able to uh, have the AI auto sniper. So I think come March, this one's going to be a beauty. And I think this one, uh, this one could, it depends. As this evolves, what I imagine will happen is, is that the barrier to entry will be higher, right? Because if this is a hundred dollar crypto, if this is a hundred dollar uh, cryptocurrency, getting a thousand um profit in order to be able to use the ai auto sniper will be out of anybody's price bracket so they're gonna have to bring in microservices underneath to keep the utility coming in but you still get uh incredible services at a lower price but that means that it's current low price well current low market cap anyway a thousand profit this might be the cheapest you'll ever get it so therefore profit bots I think this is one of the best use cases for AI. One of the best. Because this will just, AI will do the work for you. It will do everything from start to finish for you. And all you have to do is just receive the 500Xs, 1000Xs. This is a beauty, quite frankly. Right, now we're moving into some real degen shit. So, AI waifu. Or waifu, I don't know. This is like, this is like, cosplay speak so i don't know waifu so ai waifu is coming out from virtual protocol so in the last video i brought you virtual protocol it's funny i'd never ever ever seen anybody speak about virtual protocol before my before my video and now all of a sudden i see everybody talking about it a virtual protocol is powering this cryptocurrency so this is a dap that's going to be coming out soon it's very very under the radar at this point uh it's Nobody really even knows about it. So what this is, this is a uh, this is a virtual wife, basically. So it's called The Future of Love, Replacing All Girlfriends by 2025. So to give you a little demo on how this works, this is how it works. I've got this on my iPhone, actually.
my dear. I miss you too. Life has been full of adventures and unexpected twists, but you're always in my thoughts. So this is going to be a phone app. And like I said, it's uh, it's uh, AI. It's, it's um, character AI. AI character bots, right? So that means that it is designed to be intuitive, right? It's designed to... I'm not even... I, oh, wait a minute. I probably should get off that picture. Um, it's designed to be the female companion you can talk to, right? You can say anything to it. You can you can make it... Well, I, I don't even want to think the, 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 of what you can do, just how broad the spectrum is of the requests you can make to your virtual wife on here is. But all I can say is I actually think that one of the best, most user-friendly um, use cases for AI is character bots, where you've got virtually like a virtual pet, basically. You can talk to, you can ask it questions. It's kind of got chat GPT um, capabilities where you can ask it, you know, who's Superman? It'll tell you who Superman is. It'll tell you what the price of Bitcoin is. And, it, and it's just, just designed to be very intuitive, like having a human companion. But it texts you back instantly, et cetera, et cetera. So if you've ever played, uh, if you've ever used an app called Replica, this is the exact same. So it's almost like getting Replica, which is a major AI app, major character AI app. But this is in cryptocurrency. This one, I imagine, is going to be super duper low market cap and with potential to evolve over time. And I think that virtual, pro virtual protocols are going to be helping to promote this also. So I would say that this one could be a 30 to 50x. I would say it's, it's likely to have a market cap of uh, the, the low hundreds, thousands, low hundred thousands. In which case, it could, it could go up very, very high. Because virtual, virtual uh, protocol, as we established in the last video, has got excellent technology for dApps. And now the last one. The last one, but certainly not the least one. This one, actually, I think it's only available on CoinGecko, is Tau Inu. This one is a potential beauty, right? So this is the first meme coin on for Betensor Tau. Now, it is on the Ethereum blockchain, right? So you'd have to buy it on, uh, on Uniswap. But... This one is fully diluted, 22 million, which sounds quite high because it doesn't have a circulating supply market cap. The reason being is because it's all out in circulation. It's 100% diluted now. So this is the pure price. The pure price. So it means that it can't be diluted over time. There won't be loads of tokens being added to supply later on. Now, this has already kind of had a pump. Not a major pump. Not a major pump, I would say, but it has had a pump nevertheless. And this one is, like I said, it's it's a dog that is the mascot of Tau Inu. Now, as Tau, as Betensor Tau continues to, in my opinion, anyway, go go on a constant trajectory up to being the most major AI project in cryptocurrency, possibly in the top 50, it's likely to take Tau Inu with it. As Tau Inu is seen as the meme coin play, for Betensor, just like Doge Chain is the meme coin play for Doge Coin, right? So as Tau, as Tau, Betensor Tau does well, so then I imagine will Tau Inu do well. So this one has got also a kind of suite of different AI functionality. So for instance, it's uh, so it's it's Tau's best friend forever. So this dog uh, is is a dog you can talk to. It's like a virtual pet, basically. And you can ask it all sorts of questions. Oops. I already asked it quite a few questions. And I thought it was brilliant. I think it's actually brilliant. <laughs> Stupid woof. So, yeah. I mean, if I put, like, who is Supo Man, for instance. It, I believe it should know, anyway. But, um... Woof, Superman, rename it, blah, 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 blah. So, there we are. It's cool. I like it. This is really if you want exposure to Tau. You know, the, if you missed out on Tau, obviously I initially spoke about Tau at like $30, $40, but I didn't get into it myself, which was a massive mistake. Because I was I was thinking that the, the, certainly the, 
Um, we hadn't seen the worst of the bear market and I might, might be able to get it for $15, but it didn't happen, right? But there's still going to be tau based plays. In which case, I would say that this one has got a 30 to 50x chance, I would say. I wouldn't say anything more than that necessarily. Meat points are very, very explosive. And I would say that a uh, fully diluted market cap of 22 million. Uh, let's just have a look and compare the two. Uh, let's compare this to Bonk, actually. Let me just get that data, which is quite annoying. Um, 927. Let's just copy that. Mm hmm Right, okay. So to Bonk's market cap, 35x. 187x to Tawinu, to, to Bitensor. Now, I'm not ever expecting it to get anywhere near Bitensor, but uh, this shows you the room that it's got in between now and the end of the bull market to travel. And Bitensor Tau, everybody loves it. Meme coins everybody loves. This is kind of combining an interest in the two. So therefore, I would say 20 to 50x to be on the conservative side. So there we are, people. That concludes today's uh, tier lists. No 1,000xs. But if I was to say anything had a chance of 1,000x, I'd probably say Star Heroes at this point. Just simply because this is going to be super duper low in price. You know, this is... Uh, 300, yeah, 300,000. That's ridiculous. So what were your favourites, people? Let me see. Let me, let me see. And how long have I been online? One hour. Excellent. Timing's been superb. Um. Octa is unique. Sleeping giant. Okay. I don't know how you can say it's unique when it's pretty much like everything else. Uh... Little Puffin, thank you very much for the £10. Love your life, Super. Just wondering what are your thoughts on Avalanche Gaming Coin Imperium Empires? Uh, I have to admit that I think that Imperium Empires is a lot like what I would probably class um, a little bit Gamer Arena-esque. It's Avalanche play and the what I saw anyway, I mean it didn't look spectacular. So this game is coming in quarter quarter two of this year. So literally, you know, it's just months off. It doesn't look spectacular. Like, it doesn't look like Star Heroes, put it that way. But it looks better than its market cap gives it... Uh, than its present market cap would, would indicate. You know, because fully diluted, 436,000 for an avalanche cryptocurrency. And this is... It's not brand new, but it's certainly not old, old. So team has disappeared. Let me have a look, and that's probably what it is. If you delve more into a project, that's probably where you'll see the issues. So there hasn't been... I, I actually noticed this, because I did like the look of it. But then I noticed that they haven't updated their Twitter and it doesn't look like they've forgotten about it. It just seems like they may have they may have abandoned it. I don't know. I don't quite know at this point. Um, they may have just cashed out and gone. But funnily enough, they've got Bloodloop following them. So it's surprising they would make a, a, a kind of a swift exit. So I would say this has definitely got question marks. Yeah, you don't really necessarily... Like, like, you can do it up to a point, okay? So with Gamer Arena, they didn't have an updated Twitter, but... It was so ground le ground zero, it was worth taking a punt. I later found out that they were just not active on Twitter, but they were still building. That's an, like an ideal scenario. The, the, the extreme end of that scenario is something like Cardstarter. Now, Cardstarter, this was one of the biggest cryptocurrencies in the last bull market. This one went from $0.05 cents to $80. This was such a big hit. 
This is one of the biggest multipliers ever. And um, now they've left. They've abandoned. They have literally abandoned it. So this is only double the IDO price before it made a 10,000x or something. And 800x or 8,000. One of the two. It was a huge multiplier. This one made a belter. But they've left. They've gone. And I don't think there is a, a team here. And that's the absolute worst case scenario because the, the, the coin's dead from there on. So that's what I think of Imperial Empires. Too high a risk, I would think. It looks like it could be decent, but unfortunately, it's um, the fundamentals aren't there. So what are your thoughts on Serenity Shield? It was a cryptocurrency I could have I could have had a private sale and decided I wasn't really that, that mad about it. And it's quite clear to see why. Like, even now, it's it's still a low market cap. I just didn't think it had the pumper mentals in it. Secure your digital future. Into strong multi-chain data storage. Blah, blah, blah. I think this is... I, I was kind of looking at this before Deepin was even a thing. And I just thought, mm, what is the point of this? And I think they've made some, some changes to language. I didn't actually see this before. I didn't actually see that before. I saw that it was like... I thought it was digital identities or something. But, yeah. Hmm. Could be okay. But I don't really like it myself. Missed the bird icon on your list. No, I didn't. I put that in there so that I... um, So that I could... Because when I do the thumbnail, if I put all of the icons... Like, like look. So let's just imagine I put that... I've put all the icons out. Now, if I want to put it back in, I can't. So I have to load a new icon... So that I can put all the icons back in the bottom. So that's why it's there. Uh, so I, I, I'm not I'm not meaning to cover it. But this is uh, Kazuma or something like that. And I think this is also a bit of a potential play as well. Uh, AI meme coin. Mohammed Sadiq, thank you very much. I appreciate your contribution. Um, Rick, what do you think of Pete Network? I'm not out yet. Probably the deep end net crypto of 2024. Um, no, I haven't actually properly looked at it. Let me have a look. Let me have a look at and see if it actually is, has got that potential. And let me look also on crypto rank. Funding rounds. Not amazing, G um, veg capitalists. <laughs> Fundamental labs is okay, but not great. Uh, not great veg capitalists. Smart contract platform, bottom substrate, supporting ink, Ethereum smart contracts. PO enables machines to provide and render services, become fully self-sufficient by leveraging peer-to-peer -peer technologies such as machine NFTs, decentralized finance, self-sovereign identity. Blah, 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 blah. I kind of like the name. Peak. It's cool. Peak token is a native utility token of the Peak Network and ecosystem lifeblood of the economy of things. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It seems like it's uh, a relatively major project by the look of it. Not really followed by many people, though. It would be followed by Kyle, because Master Ventures is in it. Um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily that strong, uh, you know, compared to it like uh, Aether, my personal opinion. But it looks like it's okay, actually. But it doesn't look very great. It doesn't look, doesn't look that strong. I personally wouldn't, wouldn't you know, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't kill anybody to get in on the private sale of this, put it that way. <laughs> it's not that great. What do you think of Asto, Coinbase invested? I have never heard of it, for starters. 49 cents down to 5. April. April 2022. 
Learn to trade an AI agent. What's it called? Asto. Yeah, Asto. Have a look. It has got Coinbase Ventures and it's got Anamoka Brands. Engine. Hmm, interesting. I'm surprised then that this has come down so majorly. But they invested back in March 2022. Like, technology really, really moves on very quickly in crypto. So it's difficult to see. I mean, to me, this has been superseded by uh, AIT protocol, which is pretty much the exact same thing, but better. So, mm, yeah, that's pretty... I mean, for a Coinbase cryptocurrency, 26 million is actually relatively decent-ish. Have you got a DGI? It's gaming and AI. Give me your thoughts. Um, <clears throat> a lot of this is going to be based on uh, intuition. So... You know, don't necessarily take my word for it. It's more than it's. It's got near top hundred volume, even this top five hundred crypto. AI powered open world framework. Create your digital AI. Create your AI twins. Hmm. Seems alright to be fair. I quite like it, but not as an investment to me. You know, how I like to do my investments are... <sighs> I kind of like to invest... So this is Supo Man Investing, right? This is how I like to do it. I like to get in on a 1, 5 mil... Ride it for 18 months. And then that turns into 100 to 500 mil. Right? That's what I like to do. So the important part is this. This is why I wait till the absolute bottom of a bear market to invest. And that's why I didn't do my optimal buy prices because I didn't feel like the cryptos I was buying into had gone down low enough that it would unlock the kind of gains I'd get from investing in newer cryptocurrencies that come out post the bear market that are with this market cap that could do this, right? And this is why, you know, I've already made some good investments. Like AIT Protocol has, uh, has you know, did a, did a 60x and um, what's the other one? Satoshi VM did a 300x because they're very, very low market caps. And that is where you can make huge rips, right? I'm not going to get into fucking 70 because what happens is at this level, at this level, you need for it to, you need for it to pierce into the large caps before you make the big multipliers. So if this is a, a 1 billion cryptocurrency, that's only a 10x. That is not attractive to me. So therefore... Mm, it doesn't that does nothing for me so it could be a great value proposition but is it a great price unless it's a great price i'm not interested okay muhammad sadiq mcade is very undervalued i have looked at mk is it metacade and i don't think this is undervalued at all like Throughout its whole timeline, it's only 3x down from its all-time high. Mind you, this came out in 2023. Okay. This is really shit. I've looked at it already. It's kind of like a gaming publisher kind of thing. 
Like you're able to just play games on here or something, something crap. But there's much better cryptocurrencies than that. So I don't think it is that undervalued. I think it's actually, to be honest, just a shit coin. Like there's a lot of cryptocurrencies. From my experience, there's a lot of cryptocurrencies that just come out to make a payday for the for the founders. That's it. And there's just a bunch of idiots. I'm not saying you're an idiot, by the way, for Metacade, but I'm talking about generalistic, right? And there's a bunch of idiots who, oh, it's, I, it's, I hope it's going to come back. It's gonna, they don't care. The founders don't care. They're not going to work on it. They don't truly give a shit about the project. It's just the, the whole, the whole, let's see, a lot of opportunistic founders, they create cryptocurrencies when the narrative is shit hot. They cash in and everybody's left holding the bag. And uh, and some coins are just shit. Accept it. Yeah, you, know, you won't know at a retail level because you you probably are all tribalistic and hoping for the best. But in a lot of cases, a lot of the projects you invest in are part of shit. They just let you. They just let you know through Telegram. Oh yeah, we're doing this. We're planning to do this. But actually, they're not going anywhere really. Um, hi, Sora. OpenAI came up with a text to video. So if I, that's not. It's not Sora. Okay, okay, I thought you were talking about the crypto Sora. The the app Sora is a beauty. What a great idea. I mean, it's almost as good, in my opinion. It is almost as good as uh, Deepfake AI, right? This, to me, is... This is great. But um, basically, Sora is generation of videos, you know, longish videos based on giving it prompts. So it's like ChatGPT. You give it... Uh, it's like... Um, you know, generative AI art. You give it a prompt, you tell it what to create for you. And previously, an innovation was uh, creating art. But creating videos? Fucking amazing. Amazing. Completely transformative for me as a content creator. I don't need to use stuff like video blocks anymore. I can create the exact content I want. Because if you go on video blocks or Shutterstock or something like that, you have to you have to say, oh, you know, generate me a video with cryptocurrencies. And they've just got this dross, this is shit. Right. Whereas if you've got something like Sora, you could say um, generate cryptocurrencies falling, uh, falling and of vibrant colors. And then you've got a beautiful video that you can have as B-roll in a bit in a, in a YouTube video. That's excellent. That, that's supreme technology. I can't wait for that to you know, be be available mainstream. I really like sort of the sound of Sora. Jamie King, former co-founder of Rockstar, just on boarded. Okay, okay, that's probably good. Um, consider the current price. What is your low BTC price? Yeah, I don't care anymore. Lauren, Lauren, I appreciate the contribution. I just don't give, don't give a shit anymore, to be honest. We're in pre-halving year. What happens, happens. Yeah, I'm just taking positions on lows anyway. Like, whatever I buy is not really going to be impacted. Yeah, I'm not going to be... Um, I'm not going to be by. I don't think anyway. In a lot of occasions, that I'm going to be in insignificant loss. But um, yeah, I, I just don't care now. If it goes down, brilliant. I'll acquire. I'll acquire some sweet, sweet stuff. If it doesn't, I don't care. TBF. Yeah, so I, I just don't care anymore. This is my this is my plan. I stick to it. It's it's a very good plan to be honest. Because even if the worst should happen, then um, I'm pretty much getting an IDO price anyway, and it's very difficult to go under IDO price on a lot of my projects. So um, I'm not going to take too many more. I don't really want this to exceed one hour thirty. Um, net mind. So I'll take only super chats alone. Net mind. 26 million again don't kid this looks like shit for um multipliers training fine tuning inference decentralized machine learning this looks well overvalued to bf it looks very overvalued 5000 hodlers it's got a market cap of that much that doesn't even make any fucking sense. How is this a 96 million market cap? Oh, wait. Fully diluted 30 billion. What fucking planet are you on? That's just, just fucking ridiculous. Who the fuck would buy it? Who, who would buy that shit? Um, 
I think that's it. Um, okay, people. So, thank you very much. Sora has a coin. No, that's, that's a mean coin. Anyway, I think that is it, people, for today's episode. Raymond Sommer, you've asked this question millions of times, and I've answered it millions of times. Um, okay, people. So, there we are. I hope that you really loved uh, the... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play it, just in case you weren't here, actually. This was my intro. Would you like to learn what artificial intelligence cryptocurrencies have the potential to 100 to 1,000 x your money turn 1,000 dollars into 100,000 if not a million dollars <laughs> I think that was brilliant and that was made with uh with deep fake AI so uh yeah I actually think this is probably my favorite AI project right now my favorite I use it like unlike anything else I actually use this one so um yeah anyway so I hope this introduced you to some beautiful cryptocurrencies and uh yeah, and just make sure you carry on watching for the alpha, because most cryptocurrencies I cover, no one's speaking about, and you will find out about it late if you don't watch me. So, yeah, there we are. All right, people, that is it for today's episode, though. I will see you anon. Make sure you smash a like before you leave, because, as I say, uh, it shows your registration, and it really helps me. And I shall see you next time. It is lights out. Hola.